Welcome to a power supply episode featuring, as you may or may not have been able to tell, some Antec power supplies. We're going to see some familiar faces and some new faces, and more importantly, some new power supplies. They have refreshed the High Current Gamer line with the new High Current Gamer M. So these are modular or with cable management power supplies, and the High Current Pro Platinum, which was already awesome and now has a neat little extra that makes it really, really cool. So Antec's feature list is a little bit different from what you might find on other power supplier vendors. For example, the four power supplies in front of me all have double ball bearing fans. Double ball bearing fans give better lifetime and quieter operation compared to uh, less expensive fan implementations. Next up is they all use what Antec's calling their stealth wires, which isn't to say that the wires are fully black inside, but it creates a very dark, very color uniform looking effect because the colors are actually only in a little stripe down each wire. So they still look really sharp, but if you were to sleeve your power supply, for example, and you were going to rely on color coding to safely put it back together, something that they also do at the factory level when they're building these power supplies, you might find it quite useful to have that. Now there are some model specific features. For example, the Gamer series has 80 plus bronze efficiency while the Platinum series goes all the way up to, well, 80 plus platinum efficiency. The Gamer series also has white LED fans that you can turn on and off at the back, but where the really exotic stuff starts coming in is, of course, on the High Current Platinum Pro. So it is fully modular or fully cable managed, including support for a future hypothetical 28 pin motherboard power connector. Obviously you'd need a new cable, but but at least you have that compatibility with your power supply itself. This is of course one of the advantages of full modularity, allowing for future upgrades, allowing for the power supply to be easily removed from the system and replaced. And check this out, with their OC link, you can actually wire up two of these power supplies to work in tandem if you have an extremely demanding system. Speaking of extremely demanding systems, each of the four 12 volt rails is capable of delivering up to 40 amps. So even though it has a multi 12 volt rail approach, I really think you be hard pressed to overload any individual one of them. Now it's all fine and good for us to open these up and show you their, you know, sexy sex appeal and all that good stuff, but if we didn't actually throw them on a test bench at least and provide you guys with a useful tech tip, then we wouldn't quite be doing our job. So we took them all and loaded them up on Wheels' Diablo test bench, which has a Rampage 4 Extreme, an Extreme Edition, it's got 32 gigs of RAM, dual Titans, all that crazy stuff, and then took readings for what we were able to pull from these power supplies using Prime95 and for mark at the same time. So this should give you some idea of a worst case scenario for what your system will pull from the wall. And the results I think may shock you. So everything from the 900 watt high current gamer 80 plus bronze power supply down to the 750 watt 80 plus bronze power supply pulled pretty much the same amount of power from the wall. Which is interesting because it goes to show you that getting an overkill power supply doesn't necessarily help your system efficiency because all power supplies have a power supply efficiency curve that peaks at a given load, usually around 70 to 80 percent. So if you're below that or above that, you may actually get less efficiency than what you're really expecting to get. Now with that said, the high current Pro Platinum was the definite winner when it came to power consumption, particularly under full load. Remember, when you get a more efficient, better built power supply, you get more than just a better 80 plus certification. You're going to get a flatter efficiency curve, so you're going to see a less dramatic drop off at the low end and a less dramatic drop off at the high end. And I think that's really a big part of what we're seeing with this power supply in addition to its better overall efficiency. So it's about a 6% savings, but with that said, unless power is extremely expensive where you you live, it will take a while for that 6% savings to really turn into a justification for the 80 additional dollars that this power supply costs. So if I was going to invest in 80 plus Pro Platinum, I'd be looking more at the premium features and less necessarily at just the efficiency. So thank you for checking out this power supply showcase on NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.